We're back on the roads in Namibia today. Some wildlife photography and some bad southern accents are in store. Hey there friends and welcome to Solitaire. We're here to pump your gas and take some photos. What's up guys? We're here in Solitaire. Um, this is a, a real gat- no. I'm just gonna, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's an intro. Hi guys, this is an intro. And this video is also sponsored by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is an awesome place for photographers or anyone really to build a professional looking website really quickly. There are a lot of community driven aspects that go beyond building the website as well. For example, you can make a gated community area to both earn revenue and connect with your audience. And if you're looking to streamline your photography business, there are loads of options to integrate third party e-commerce programs, which allow you to take payments, manage inventory, promote products, and even streamline your bookkeeping and accounting. Of course, all of this is a bonus beyond the beautiful and easy to use Squarespace website templates they're known for. So head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson for a 10% discount on your first purchase. Now onto the road. We left Solitaire and cruised through some dusty Namibian landscapes, heading north for seascapes and eventually wildlife photography. The road bumps along. It starts with washboard gravel and then fades into salt. All of it pretty gnarly driving. Greg, Neil, do you copy? I think I lost Greg and Neil. <laughs> oh. Anyways, we are at a, a random viewpoint. Namibia has so many incredible things to photograph that it's almost hilarious that we don't go to any of them because it's just such a big country and it would take ages and ages and ages to explore it all. You'd need months and months and months. This is just this giant landscape of rippled out volcanic landscape or vo volcanic earth and it is incredible it kind of looks a little bit like Iceland not what you'd expect in a country that's known to be flat and desolate it's absolutely beautiful and we're cruising up to Swakopmund right now we're probably halfway there so we better keep rolling if I can find Neil and Greg Neil and Greg do you copy eventually they copied and we rolled into the coast in the town of Swakopmund. At sunset we set out for the pier, and there is definitely a shock to the system going from the heat of the desert to the pinch of the coast. put my jelly tots package in a safe secure spot because the wind is up okay now that that's out of the way um we're out on the pier it's crazy how much the weather has changed it was uh 32 degrees this morning now it's 15 degrees on the coast absolutely wild uh i've always shot the photo from out on the pier because i'm distracted by the sunset oh sorry so I decided since I have two trips here and the light's kind of so-so that I'd come out this way and just see if there's a photo. I found one-ish that's okay from up here. Playing with long exposures, 2.5 seconds, f11 with a six stop ND. And this is what it looks like. In hindsight, it's not the best photo. So I'm glad I moved on from it pretty quickly. Exploring more of the pier and playing with the beautifully colored water beneath it.
I, I, <laughs> I can't talk. I actually found another photo. I'm right here. We were photographing that direction and I just looked behind me and saw these lights and just the sun coming through and it was lighting up under the pier creating really cool light. Um, and I was hoping to be able to sun star it eventually but the sun now on the horizon is behind some haze and we've lost all the light. To make the photo that I'm showing you right now, I used a three stop grad filter, uh, a reverse grad filter, a three stop regular ND and then it was about three seconds I believe. And this was cool. I'm glad I came out here. I can't believe I've never come out onto the pier to take pictures before. Lessons in photography learned tonight. One, don't always photograph from the same spot despite past successes. And number two, don't forget to look behind you. Show me something. Yeah, dude. I like it. Sexy. Sexy. All right. Yeah, the photo was pretty sexy. And as much fun as I'm having, I'm ready to make tracks north towards some of Namibia's best wildlife photography locations. It's time to leave. We're leaving Swakopund and we're heading north up the skeleton coast. Uh, it's already the afternoon. We had a bit of a sleep in today and a well needed one to be honest. Uh, I think we're heading towards sea lions and shipwrecks right now. So let's cruise. We're heading north up the unforgiving skeleton coast, a place that takes its name from the masses of animal skeletons and shipwrecks that dot the sandy shores. That's Neil. <laughs> he was just peeing. I was uh, location scouting. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're here at uh, on essentially the start of the skeleton coast now. And there's this shipwreck and I've stopped here like five times. And every time I've come here, the sea has been kind of calm and the tide's been kind of out. So I've never really taken a photo I love here. But I was just messing around with the long lens 70 to 200 and playing with like a quarter second exposure and I think among the like 50 or 60 photos I took there's a really cool one of the sea jumping up through the ship or maybe one of the wild sea in the foreground just jumping around It's just this absolutely awesome scene with the wild coast and that shipwreck and the birds all over it. Uh, yeah, an awesome way to start the day. Woo! 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 Well, we have just, uh, uh, poof stopped at uh, a place that I'm glad, well let's just say that I, I'm glad there's no such thing as smell-o-vision for you guys because it smells horrible here. It's, I wouldn't buy a perfume of this smell for Jody. I think the French would call it eau de fuck. It, it is, ugh. but look at these guys they're so beautiful there's hundreds of cape fur seals here and i'm gonna take out my 100 to 400 and get some photos cape cross seal reserve is home to one of the largest cape fur seal colonies on the planet it's an absolute mess of seals barking fighting and posing for photos
This experience is crazy. You're right on this boardwalk, which is enclosed. The sea lions can't get onto it. And they're having these epic fights. Wow, like violent, violent fights all around you. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it's mating season or rutting season or what it is, but like these guys are having a little fight right here, for example. And some of these fights are just viciously intense. Some of them seem like they're gonna get viciously intense, and then they end in like a, a nap. But like these guys are having a jostle here, the two little guys, but he's got a full bite on him. Wow, crazy stuff. And these are just two little dudes. Over there, there were some massive machos having huge fights. And it was getting really loud and really intense and actually even scary. When you're standing there, it's so loud and intense. Uh, it's so impressive. Uh, I had my 100 to 400 on. Don't know if there's any photos in there. I was kind of just, just hammering away at the shutter and hoping to capture something, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is an absolutely intensely awesome experience, even if it smells a little bit like crap. Though it was really powerful standing among the seals as they jostled for position, I didn't really manage to frame an image that captured the vicious mood of the colony. But I did manage a couple of decent images and it felt really good to be back at wildlife photography after nearly a year away from it. Oh jeez! Oh, first time driving that gimbal. <laughs> Mike hit the uh, roof. Mike hit the oh the mic. I was like, we don't have a guy on the trip named Mike. <laughs> well, you've heard of uh, plumber's crack. I'm looking at what we call photographer's crack right now, and it ain't pretty. Not gonna film that, bud. Uh, I can't look away. Well, we should probably go though, so I can stop looking at this. Whoop. Whoa, knocked over my camera. Get out of the way. Okay, so we have made it to our hotel and at, we're at Cape Cross Lodge. I've never stayed here before and this is absolutely awesome. I wish there was more light to show you, but you're literally right on the ocean. Bed, balcony, and Oh, the door's locked. Give me a second. And the ocean right here. We rested up at Cape Cross Lodge because we have the biggest drive of our trip coming. We've already put on well over a thousand kilometers. Today, we'll put on over 600 more. Bye for now. Keep saying that enough, you're gonna steal Tom's tagline eventually. Yeah, this trip has been absolutely stunning. <laughs> as long as you don't start saying let's go, then I'll be fine. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, good, good. Keep that absolutely up. stunning. Right. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Alright, you've got to pull out so that we can have it on camera. Sounds like a movie I'd watch. Okay. Popping out! We made miles flying up the Skeleton Coast smooth salt roads. The danger here isn't bumps, it's the beige washed scenes that can put you to sleep. Or you rented a car without enough clearance to clear the dunes that occasionally cross the roads. Okay, we're gonna rock 
Come on, baby. You got some traction. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Watch your feet. Yeah. After rescuing the French tourists we found stuck in the sand, we cruised into the region of Namibia that I think is the most underrated and perhaps the most beautiful, Damaraland. The landscapes fade from sand to sharp red, and tabletop mountains rise from the desert. These are scenes that so many people miss in this country simply because they don't know it exists. And best yet, though it's not a national park, there is wildlife. Those lucky enough might spot the rarely seen red Damarland elephants. Or we've stumbled across a couple giraffe perfectly posing in the stunning landscape. Eventually we made our way up on top of the plateau to our glamping location for the night. We set up a braai and enjoyed life under the Namib stars. And after a night of camping under the wild skies, it's safe to say that we're having the time of our lives. What's happening? <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> we are, I'm making coffee and uh, singing songs. We're having a proper South African braai. In Namibia. Oh, shit. <laughs> Start again. Start again. We're having a proper Southern African braai. Yeah, we've got uh, smoked salmon no, from Alaska. No, that's not a part of the braai. Uh, that's but not a part of the braai. But we do have braai spice, yeah. so that counts for something. We had a great night, other than being dive-bombed by a really angry owl. And um, this is the end of the video. Peace. <laughs> really?